get gorillaed, son! <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Wickland, a game that just came out of early access. And right now, we're playing against bots, because even though uh, it has an early access phase, that seems to have taken some of the oomph out of the release date, which is something that uh, sh should have been accounted for, I guess. So in Wickland, you have a bunch of different uh, characters that you can become by picking up these different masks. You start as a knight with a machine crossbow, auto crossbow, and currently I am a minotaur who throws flaming skulls. I just missed an electro fish power up um, that allows you to shoot a lightning bolt, continuous lightning bolt. Ooh, this one is like a rail gun, I think. Yeah. Pachoo! I suck with it. <laughs> but, uh, your health is shown next to the mask in the very middle at the bottom. Your ammo is to the right of that. And to the left of that, next to the cross, is what represents your overall health. And it will gradually go down. You need to pick up power ups to keep it up. And every time you take damage or lose a mask, uh, your health goes down. So obviously, that's a bad thing. You want to stay alive. If you lose all of your masks, since they have their own hit points, they, they go away when they're depleted. If you lose all of your masks, you'll die like that. That's the night. Run around, pick up some more power-ups. Those power-ups are always good. Oh my god! Those bomb things come from a werewolf mask. But there can only be one person with the mask at a time. Which creates an interesting dynamic. And the game is extremely fast paced since it is done in the Unreal Engine. I don't believe, however, that it's that great of a game. Simply because there's there's a lot of ammo lying about that uh, you can't even use. So if you got like ammo for one mask... It's, it's not going to help you unless you actually have the mask to go with the ammo. So, while well, I guess it adds a little something to the gameplay and makes it more fast-paced, I, I also get quite frustrated when I'm picking up ammo that I'm completely unable to use. The layouts in the map don't change, so you can memorize where things are. But for newbies, it's not so player-friendly. Oh! I was gonna merc that guy. He ran away. Get this thing. Yeah. I don't know what the lizard mask does, honestly. It it seems like a melee attack, but I can't ever get it to work. Let's try and chase this guy down. And see if we can do... See what's happening right now. I have no idea. Okay. Back to the knight, since he actually shoots things. And you swap to the werewolf, drop some bombs. It is a really cool game with a cool gimmick. Instead of switching weapons, you're switching characters. However, you know, there's no music, the ammo is an issue, and overall it doesn't it doesn't feel that replayable. I haven't put more than an hour into it, but already I'm kind of like, okay, I get it, you know? It needs something else, level up systems or unlocks, in order to hold my interest for longer than it has. Which is unfortunate, but because it's a good game. Ooh, Gorilla Mask! Gorilla Mask has like a shotgun or something. All my masks are shown at the top, so right now I have the Knight, the Lizard, the Gorilla, the Werewolf, the Minotaur, the Swamp Thing, and the Gargoyle. The gargoyle shoots like a really cool green ball. Oh, and that's the electrofish. I don't have electrofish. Because he has it. Switching to gargoyle. I'll shoot my green balls of death. Bah, 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 bah. Obviously, you gotta be a little better at aiming. It is extremely precise. But that's why I prefer the ram. Because it allows you to just uh, shoot an explosive that kind of does flash damage. It's quite useful. 
Hey, did I kill that guy? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. Get gorilla, son! Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! This song doesn't have any... This game doesn't have a soundtrack. So, I like to cut in the dead Kennedys. Overall, it's it's not a bad game, <clears throat> but it's not something that I'd suggest rushing out and buying, because really it, it gives me the feeling of Unreal Tournament, which is great for nostalgia, and it has its own little gimmick, but other than that, it, it, it doesn't feel like that solid of a game, or that well thought out of a game, which is unfortunate, because... It could have been something great. Well, it can still be something great, but it's going to take some tweaking. Um, perhaps making the ammo pickups available for all the characters and putting some music in and maybe tweaking down the bot difficulty a little bit because I am getting my butt slammed around here. So this has been Wickland, ladies and gentlemen. I will give the game a solid 5 out of 10. It's not horrible. It's definitely playable. However, it's not something that I would go out of my way to play or even really bother telling my friends about. I did it for the YouTube channel because today is the release day, came out of early access, and I kind of wanted to see how it turned out. Oh, I got a kill. <laughs> but I'll say that um, it didn't develop as fully as I'd hoped. So 5 out of 10. This has been Wicklin, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope you'll join us for the next time. Until then, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.